Are you ready for the ultimate chat GPT hack of all time? Because I'm going to give it to you. And during this video, I promise not to put so much space in between my sentences. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's get to it. Y'all ready for this? Okay, so hack number one, if you don't already know, is that there is this extension called Apron or something. A apron. Nobody can pronounce it. Nobody knows what it stands for, but I do know that it is invented by if you're an OG SEO person, you will know this name, Christoph Kemper, who originally made the most expensive SEO tool of all time, which has now been greatly surpassed. It's called Link Research Tools, Link Research Tools, and it has been eclipsed in the expensive realm by Ahrefs. Not that you give a shit, you're here for chat DPT stuff. So first, download this plugin, and you're gonna get a ton of prepackaged prompts, yippee. So if you didn't already know that, well, you've already gotten your money's worth. So go hit like and send this video to your grandma and like your pet goose and everything else and all that shit. But now I'm going to show you something really fire. <sighs> I wish I had a fire thing for that. So check it out. If you like any of these things here, what you can do, for example, let's take one here. Da, 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 da. Create a keyword strategy and SEO content plan from one keyword. All right. My keyword is... Um, most popular popular dinosaurs popular dinosaurs let's let's see what kind of keyword strategy they come up with for this one not that it really matters but you're about to find out something super cool that you can use in your arsenal types of popular dinosaurs huh stegosaurus t-rex they knew they knew Stegosaurus, questionable. Triceratops, Velociraptor, that probably should have been number one or number two, let's be honest. Brachiosaurus, no one even knows what that is and it sounds like broccoli, so not gonna put that on the popular list. Dinosaurs that lived in water. Okay, anyway, so it's creating this cool ass table for you, yippee dippy doo. Well, it's now stopped and it's made a little title for your thing, not that that matters, but check this out. Once you're done with the prompt thing you can click out of it and click back into it and scroll up to the top and boom check that out you can see the entire prompt that was used to generate your cool ass thing and now you can start taking concepts from that and creating your own prompts if you're not too lazy to do so but you get a lot of really good stuff in here let's try another one Let's generate enticing product descriptions. All right, uh, my enter a description, descriptive product name one only. Okay, how about gluten-free battery acid pancakes? Ah, wow, you can see like a little bit of their prompts, kind of snuck into this response here. Looking for a gluten-free protein-packed breakfast option? Look no further than gluten-free battery acid pancakes. Made with all natural ingredients, these pancakes are not only delicious, but also nutritious. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast or just looking for a healthy breakfast option, these pancakes are the perfect choice with a balanced blend of complex carbohydrates, high-quality protein, Gluten-free battery acid pancakes will keep you full and energized totally throughout the day. A fun twist on traditional pancakes. Yeah, well, you know. Great, and then it shows you some headings and some broad match keywords, some meta descriptions, some meta titles. This is pretty, this, 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 this is a pretty badass, this is a pretty badass response here. I wonder what they did, let's check it out. So click out, click in, boom. I want you to pretend you're an e-commerce SEO expert who writes compelling product descriptions. I'm gonna provide you the title, come up with a minimum of three, blah, blah, blah. Make sure, ya, da, 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 da. So you can see kind of what they're telling people to do. One more just for the shits and giggles of it. 
A fully optimized SEO article including FAQs, keyword or title. All right. How about what would be fun? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Banana shaped cars. The quirky trend taking the world by storm. I think it would have been funnier if it made a peel joke. Banana shaped cars. Peel out of your driveway in style. Discover the latest craze in the automotive industry. Banana shaped cars. Read on to learn more about these quirky vehicles and why they're capturing the hearts of car enthusiasts everywhere and also potassium enthusiasts. Are you tired of the same old boring cars on the road? Look no further than a vehicle that's sure to turn heads and spark conversation. Look no further than banana shaped cars. That's right, these curvy, playful vehicles are taking the world by storm and for good reason. Get ready to go bananas. I mean, this thing's not bad. It's not bad. Believe it or not, the concept of banana shaped cars has been around for quite some time. And here I thought it was being original. The first known banana shaped car was created in 1920s by French engineer Marcel Guerreau. That's how you do French stuff. And his Helicron vehicle is just no fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. Holy shit, it actually is a banana sh <laughs> Wow. You can't sneak anything by ChatGPT these days, guys. I thought that was total horseshit, but you know what? It's not, so. In an industry dominated by boxy, uninspired designs, they're playful, they're whimsical, and just plain fun to look at. Plus, driving a banana-shaped car is sure to put a smile on your face and the faces of everyone around you. So look at that. Are banana-shaped cars shaped to drive? Is that really a frequently asked question about banana-shaped cars? Let's find out. Wow, these are real things? Holy crap. This would have been better for um, Schwarzman called it. So here's a good example of what you can do to make this even cooler. Is you can look at their prompt, and then you can try and just do a new chat and make your own. Pick out five FAQs from the I'm just going to remove all this other crap and see if it can even do this. <laughs> Are they street legal? No way. Is that really one? How fast can it go? <laughs> Are they eco friendly? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think this thing can I customize it? Sure. You can peel off as much shit as you want. You can drive it ripe. You can drive it fresh off the vine. Yeah, it's not gonna do that very well. But anyways, you can, you know, take these prompts that these people use and then you can customize them to your own liking. So uh, there's nine hundred and ninety one prompts here and a lot of stuff to learn. So whatever it is that you like, you can use. And uh, I'm gonna show you in the next video why this is the most dangerous shit ever. So watch it, unless you like to live dangerously in a zone that is one of danger. And I won't lie to you, this mission will be dangerous. Uh, would you say we'd be venturing into a zone of danger? Well, yes, obviously. No, but I mean, how would you phrase that? I... the zone will be one of danger? No, I mean, not if you'd say the thing to... forget it, never mind. And you never mind, and also shut up. Danger zone.